Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. We don't have much stuff. We didn't. I don't think we even. Yep. Well, we didn't get into one house, but it has just started raining. So let's go this way. Our goal today is a warehouse and storage unit area that is not far from here. Um, so that's the plan. I think there's one more house over here that we haven't been in. That we're gonna go in first. Try and stay out of the rain for the moment. Which I should probably check this house real quick. Make sure. Oh, hello. There's nobody like this that's out here. Come on. And then once the rain, once we get out of the rain for a while. Oh, now there's this guy up front. Once the rain stops, we'll head to the place, which may mean staying overnight and uh and waiting it out, but we'll see. I'll give it a couple, a little bit of in-game time and see if it if it goes on its own or not. Come on, open that door. It's get you're getting wet. Too weak. Be stronger. All right, we'll break it up. Oh, did, there we go. Come on. There we go. Now we're inside. Use a dish towel. Dry off. Didn't really seem to work very well. Well, it puts us a damp. Alright. Nobody seems to be coming in. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Some rounds. We'll take that. I'll take the pot. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Chips. Those. Ah, a lot of stuff in the... A lot of stuff in the kitchen. Or in the... Refrigerator. The Fidgemiator. Advanced carpeting and trepidy. I haven't been collecting books. I should do that. Anything in the bathroom? Oh, nothing in the bathroom. Place to fill our water bottle up. Alright, so we're going to wait here for a little bit. Hey, another baseball bat. I'll always take those. Didn't look like the rain is probably going to stop today. So I'm going to head back to our safe house. Drop off what we have. I'll probably wait the rest of the day out. Um, and then we'll start again tomorrow. When it is no longer raining. But poor old C. Archer Davis doesn't get a cold. Don't want him getting the sniffles. Alright, come on. I'm waiting for... I miss level 2 sprinting so much. Alright, um, I'll probably wait the day out here, and then I will be back in the morning. Alright, he's up early, which is not that surprising, considering he didn't do much for half of the day. I'll eat this burger for breakfast, and start heading out. I am excited to go to this storage area. I think it'll be good for us. Bed. Alright, so if we head up here, past the church... And head to the left. We should be able to get there pretty easily. See if there's many zombies around. Got a few. It's up. It's right there. You can see the fence right there. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. All right, lady, you're up. There we go. That was a nice hit. You got an axe for me? Nope. It's got a wallet. Try to use my ability to call to yell at people, yell at the zombies to to peel them off a few at a time as much as I can manage. Seems to work pretty well. Ants. Nothing. We'll see what's in this place. Might end up working out well. I'd like to get a sl if we have a sledgehammer, we can really get it dig, dig into this place. Without one, we'll probably be slightly limited. But we'll still find some good stuff, I'm pretty sure. Good 
Come on, Beardo. Come on. These guys just do not want to go down. Alright, one more. That guy's back on his feet. And anybody behind me? Nope. Alright, good. Oh, bad swing. Nobody else is coming, that's good. Hey, a pistol. Pretty sure we have one of those already. Two pistols. Yeah, we'll take one anyways. Looking to see if it had any uh, fancy add-ons to it, which it did not, but that's okay. So quite the little crowd here by the door. See if we can just take a few at a time. I feel like I need to... Let's dump a couple of points here. See if that helps make us a little bit more effective with this. I think I'm getting both of them. Yeah, got them. Some of the zombies up there are doing the fence, the fence dance. You can see them jump, 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 jump. They, uh, a little problem with their AI, I think. Good old fence dance. Oop. I think they'll pretty much just do that until they, uh, they get new stimuli. They'll just dance. Dance, dance, jump, 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 jump. Come here, guys. I need a few more of you. Come on. Just got the one this time. And let's run up here and attract a little attention. I think we can take these guys. I'm confident. He said. Not at all worried that he would die. Oh wait, no, that's not true. Extremely worried that he would die. Alright, who's first? Blue shirt? Shambly McGee? Oh, oh, run! Ooh, a few more of them than I thought. This should be exciting. Same basic strategy. Run, run, run! Oh no, too much, too much, too much, too much! Ugh, we're dead, we're dead. Okay, we're dead. Whoops. We're dead. No, C. Archer Davis, I barely knew you. I barely knew you. Oh no. Oh no! So sad, poor boy. He's dead. Just gonna fight until he goes down. That was just sloppy on my part. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed by that. Slive survived for all of five days. Look at them chowing down. Get him. Mmm, good eats. And some good eats right there. Alright. I guess we'll start again. Let's see who we got this time. Alright, I'm gonna do a sandbox this time. Do New World, Muldrow, sure, why not? Alright, so let's see. Zombies. We'll put them at a high population. Urban focused, survivors none. How do we want to change them? Fast shamblers? Hmm. Strength normal, toughness normal, transmission, infection mortality. Make the infection mortality faster that way. If we get sort of you know slightly bitten, we'll know faster. Cognition navigates normal memory. Let's give them normal, give them poor hearing. No, and poor sense of smell. I don't know, not really sure. Loot rarity, I'll keep it at rare. Temperature, normal, rain, normal. 
I guess just the only thing I actually changed was the high, the that one, two, there. Survivor, I feel like there's more things that need to change here. So there's a high frequency of them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to do normal. But we're going to make rare loot extremely rare. This should make things a little bit tougher, especially food-wise. Everything else stays the same. All right, we'll do this. Um, I can actually like that last guy. No, no. No, all right, we'll do this day. This guy. C. Archer Robinson. Chest hair, yes. Double, yes. He's got the Picard haircut. And he's got chops. All right, I got to do my normal stuff. I apologize, I know I'm boring. Cowardly? No. Light drinker. And... Short-tempered. We'll just do those for now. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I really want here. I feel like I should take other things, but strong is just so good. Hearty appetite, short-sighted, clumsy, overweight, unlucky, agoraphobic. Yeah, we'll just do this. Sorry if I'm boring. It's can't believe that that uh, how fast Sea Archer went down. That's really bad. Sea Archer Davis was not a good survivor. All right, let's see where we start this time. All right, bookshelf, nothing. All right, we got a few things from there. Frying pan. This will be our weapon for now. Oh, we can make a stir fry. <laughs> Water bottle. That's a Big find early. That's a really good find early. And dump that, dump that whiskey bottle out and fill it up. All right. So let's see what else is in this house. Bathroom has nothing. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Let's see. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Going to be a lot more nothings. Now that we're on a uh, very rare, extremely rare loot. Just so you're ready. Baseball bat. Oh my god, that is a huge find this early on. Actually, I want that in both hands. Yeah, I cannot believe how lucky we just got with that. The extremely rare loot to find a baseball bat in your starting house is just insane. So let's see. Can't get in that room right now. I guess that's just sort of like a outer shed. I don't really know what the deal is with that. And we don't seem to have any zombies immediately around us. So let's go away, health panel. Just reminding me that I suck. I want to get in here. Come on, break down. Come on, you stupid door. Break. Oh well. Door doesn't want to break. I'll leave it alone. There's a zombie. It's our first zombie of the day. Hello, sir. Check out those mutton chops. I did not realize we had mutton chops. That's sexy look. Picard plus mutton chops? What's not to like about that? Hold on to your shorts, ladies. He's a sexy man. I apologize if uh, if any of the women in the audience can't handle the sexiness of our new new survivor. I didn't realize what I was getting into when I put them together. Farming for beginners, yeah, I'll take that. 
Cigarettes, I'm going to leave those for now. Those will be important later. Dry ramen noodles. Already got a lighter. Chicken and a leek. Leaky chicken. My famous dish, leaky chicken. I'll take those sheets, actually. And I'm going to rip up these. Rip up these pants. Rip up the pants. Oops, that didn't work. Did it move it to my item inventory? Yes, there we go. Didn't finish ripping my pants up. There we go. Alright, now we're done ripping pants up. Anything in the bathroom? Nope, this is a crappy bathroom. At least we got a bunch of these little houses right here. That's kind of helpful. I can't remember if I put the zombie level to high or not. No. <laughs> I know I was about to, but I feel like I turned it back before I restarted this game. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Another gigantic cabinet. Blouse, shoes, sleeping pills. Nothing in here. Sledgehammer? That's unexpected earlier. That may not be something we can actually carry without a bag. Well, we can. This is going to severely limit our carrying capacity. Yeah, see, we're already at 15 out of 16. It's going to be problematic. Garbage bag. Well, that'll be a temporary bag until we can find something better. Alright, so this is going to be secondary. Yeah, I know. Nope, not my pants. I don't want to select my pants. Sheets, sheets... Frying pan, book, book. All this in here. Garbage bag's a crappy bag, but it's better than nothing, so we're gonna use that. Right, so if we equip this in primary. Alright, so that drops our weight down some. This is very much a temporary solution, as it turns out. Go across the street. See if we can get in here. There we go. Yeah, so that last life just goes to show you how much this game will punish punish confidence. Can't get overconfident. Important. Extremely important to not overdo it. Or else you end up like me. Ah, oh, tote bag, that's much better. Tote bag is better. Let's see, alright. To do a little little uh wiggling around here. Let me finish with this house first. And then we'll deal with this. Do notebook. Alright. One more thing to check. Cigarettes and shoes. Alright. So everything I just put in here. Everything I just put in here needs to come out of my bag. And then we'll swap out for the tote bag, because its weight reduction is better. Not great, mind you, but better than a garbage bag. Alright, let's see. Almost done. Stupid sheets. Okay, garbage bag, unequip. Tote bag, equip. Not the shoes. This should work out a little bit better than what we had before. Eh, ended up pretty much the same. Might not have been worth the effort, but it's done now. I must not have turned the zombies up to high, because there is a distinct lack of zombies. Pistol? That's not so bad. Chips. 
bread. I definitely have to go back and look at the. I have to go back and look at this and see if I actually um, did end up turning the zombies up or not. Because I don't remember. Sorry, I'll stop talking about it now. <laughs> in uh, build 30, I don't know if you know this or not. In build 30, they're going to increase the the number of options. Oh, come on, you can do it. There you go. In the sandbox menu, it's going to be a whole bunch of new new options in the sandbox menu. So when we get to build 30, and I do a build 30 video, it'll definitely be a sandbox-based one, so that I can fiddle with everything. Control all the things! Alright. Golf club? No, we're good. Don't need you, golf club. Can't afford the weight right now. Yeah, it's definitely quiet around here. I must not have changed the zombies. Whatever. Tired of waiting. It's empty. Empty. Bed right. and lettuce. Does the body good. After we get done with this house, we'll probably go back, I think probably back to our starter house, because that seemed like the most, one of the most defendable locations we've come across so far, and make that our temporary safe house until we decide where we're going to live. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go back, and um, I'm probably going to close the episode up here. Um, it, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. I'll put my stuff away and all that kind of jazz, and... I'll see you tomorrow for some more Project Zomboid. Thanks so much.